Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today is a super exciting day because I will be showing you guys how to make these rainbow poop emoji cookies. So since it is Pride Month, I wanted to make something rainbow and we just got a new puppy named Dakota just a few months back and this poop emoji is one of her favorite toys to chew on. So I decided why not create these rainbow poop emoji cookies. <laughs> this is going to be a delicious buttery sugar cookie and the ingredients that you will need for this recipe include two and three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, two thirds cup of unsalted softened butter, half a cup of sugar, a quarter cup of honey, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, food coloring in the colors of pink, violet, light blue, light green, yellow, and orange. You will also be needing one of these little poop emoji cookie cutters and I will leave a link to that down below where you can purchase it from Amazon. This cookie recipe is super simple. You first want to start off by adding your salt and your baking powder into your bowl of flour and just whisking that together until all three ingredients are well combined. Then in a separate bowl, you want to beat together your butter, your sugar, and your honey. Beat those three ingredients together until they become nice, light, and fluffy. This should take about two to three minutes. Then you can add in your one egg, mix that through until well incorporated, and your vanilla extract, and mix it through one last time. Now you are going to add in all of your dry ingredients into your wet mixture and just beat it together until the ingredients are well combined. When mixing your dough, I like to start off with a hand mixer just to incorporate the dry and the wet ingredients. Your dough will look very crumbly when using your hand mixer. Once the ingredients are well combined, then I like to go in with my hands and finish it up until it starts to resemble an actual cookie dough. Then you want to make your dough into a rectangular shape, cut it into six even squares, then shape it into a ball. So what I like to do with the cookie dough is essentially just put it in my palm and sort of make a circular shape and just roll it up very gently. This is actually pretty like relaxing. Just rolling cookie dough in your palm and voila, you have your cookie dough ball. Now it is time to dye each of our six balls of dough. I like to wear gloves at this part so my hands don't stain. <laughs> I am going to start off with the pink, then violet, then blue, then green, then yellow, and last but not least, orange. Once your dough is colored whatever colors you'd like them to be, then it is time to wrap them in plastic wrap. I am one of those people that struggles with plastic wrap on a daily basis. It's so hard for me to pull it out. It sticks to everything. So I just went ahead and used some Ziploc bags and just wrapped them tightly. Then you want to place these into the fridge for half an hour. One question that I get from a lot of people is, why do we chill our dough? The reason we chill our dough is so that our fat, which in this case is the butter, becomes nice and chill. The more chill your fat is, the less it will spread out in the oven. That is exactly what we want, especially with this cookie, since it has so many different colors. We don't want the colors to sort of bleed through and make the cookie a weird pattern. We want it to be straight lines all across. So that is why we chill the cookie dough for 30 minutes in the fridge. So our cookie dough has chilled in the fridge for half an hour, and now it is time to make our poop emoji. Before we begin, you also want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So you basically want to take a pastry cutter or a knife and cut each of your rolls into four equal pieces. Then you want to roll it using your hands into a log and repeat for each color. Then you want to place each color log beneath the next one until you have all six colors lined up. Then using a roller, you want to gently roll it out until the colors sort of blend together. Then using your poop emoji, cut out your shape and place it onto a cookie sheet that is lined with parchment paper. Our oven is still preheating to 350 degrees. Our cookies are super cute and cut out. So now we're gonna place them into the fridge for another 10 more minutes to chill, just like I said earlier, so that the butter stays nice and cold while it's baking in the oven, so that the colors don't intertwine and mix together. Since I don't like to waste leftover ingredients, I decided just to combine all of the leftover scraps 
roll it out and cut out a poopy emoji and it sort of turned into a tie-dye cookie, just like my shirt. <laughs> Our rainbow poop emoji cookies are out of the fridge, they're nice and chill. So now we're gonna place them into our preheated oven and these are going to bake for eight minutes. Look at the cookies. <laughs> I was inspired to make these cookies from not only my puppy and her favorite toy, but I was also inspired by Pride Month where everybody can love whoever they want to love. But I am definitely glad that I got inspired to make these cookies because they are super cute. I hope that you guys give this recipe a try. I also hope that you enjoyed this episode. Remember to give a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be reminded of whenever I upload a new video. Mm, nice and buttery, soft, and these aren't overly sweet either. So definitely a good cookie recipe if you're not into a super sweet sugar cookie. This is instead nice buttery and has a mellow amount of sweetness to it. I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your summer. Happy Pride Month and I will see you in the next video.